talking about uh, Josh Gordon, because you played with, with him, uh, Tyler. Um, JD made a point uh, on the show. He's made a point that you got to give a guy a full off season to kind of, you know, he, he came in after being off for, for so long, he came in the middle of the season, uh, probably a playbook. That's probably 200 pages long with Andy Reid's playbook. Um, how, how beneficial is that for him to kind of get this off season to kind of get his, you know, get, get his wings back, you know, get his legs back. I mean, how beneficial do you think that is? And do you think he still has something in the tank left? Yeah. I mean, I'd always love to say he's got something left in the tank. I mean, the guys, you know, I'm not sure exactly how old he is right now, but he's kind of, you know, bounced around from team to team, hasn't really played a full season. So to me, he's not one of those that's been beat up. I mean, to me, he's still got some miles left, um, you know, to make something happen in a sense. So, you know, as far as um, having somebody like him with a full off season, I mean, that's just, I mean, you think about coming in mid season like he did last year and Patrick, there's no time for Patrick to work one-on-one with him essentially. Um, You know, after practice, the last thing, you know, you're doing is working essentially with Josh being the four, fourth or fifth receiver, or, you know, whatever number he was last year um, on the depth chart. You know, your your time is mainly focused on Tyreek and Travis and those other guys that have been there throughout the whole year. Um, so the biggest thing for, you know, going forward this whole offseason, for them to have that work, to put in that work, that maybe the coaches are um, – you know, here in Pat or, or Patrick, you know, because I'm sure Patrick's got some say so in in the talks of like, hey, you know, we're probably not going to be able to to keep Tyreek because you know he wants more than essentially we may have room for, um, but we can possibly get these picks for him. You know, so it's just different things. There's so many scenarios that could have possibly come into play here that, um, you know, looking back now, it's like, you know, hopefully Chiefs fans, you know, after week three, you're like you don't even talk about Tyreek Hill. You know, you might see him on the top 10 sports center plays, I'm sure, just because he's going to be making some plays. But, you know, hopefully you don't uh, have to look in the rearview mirror. You're looking forward, moving forward. So, man, look, <laughs> that, that right there, Tyler, uh, thank you so much because I don't understand why people didn't understand that. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. And, and so I was fighting with E all the time. Everybody just wanted Josh Gordon to be Josh Gordon from 2014. And what look, this man had been out of football for two years, two years. And the thing was, he was coming into a system, which I said was a little bit more geared toward smaller receivers, kind of find the windows. It wasn't quite that same, you know, style of play like the West Coast offense or like for a bigger receiver, right? Mm-hmm. The, those things are kind of regulated for like the tight end in the middle, midline doing things. Uh, and so him coming in, I guess it was like week three or whatever. Look, we knew the transition was going to take a long time. And like you said, which is an absolutely incredible point, during the offseason when you start getting all the report, catching all the football, you know how a guy's thinking, what he's running, you know, how he's looking. You just start working on the fade route. You start doing all these things. And sometimes what you start doing is you start getting your offense predicated off what you have in the building. Right. And so when it starts, you know, in, in, you know, after the draft, you start putting all the hay in the barn. OK, this is what we got. This is our pieces. So he was a bonus when we was able to get him, you know, in the third game, you know, the season last year. He was a bonus. Right. So we were just looking for the guy to come in and, hey, look, have some productivity. And he did a great job in the running game. Didn't catch the balls like he wanted to. But this whole offseason and we know his physical. He's a physical specimen. He's only 30 years old. He's only 30. He's 30 years old. Right. <laughs> so. He gets his, his football legs underneath it, okay? And I said, look, throwing the, getting the ball thrown to him from Patrick Mahomes is, is different from him getting his ball the ball thrown to him from his little cousin who plays – is probably the backup quarterback at, on a junior high team, right? It, just, it just ain't the same thing. So, you know, he's in the building with, with the real guy throwing the ball to him. Um, so he's going to be able to uh, benefit off of this, Right. Now Tyreek ain't in the building. Man, look, Josh, he's going to get himself back prepared, maybe even lean down a little bit. I mean, he might even lean down some yeah. uh, to kind of play in this offense, right? Uh, and and that's going to be uh, great for the Chiefs. 